Are you ready to uncover the mysteries of Splatoon 3's DLC? In this video, we will be taking a deep dive into the upcoming DLC trailer, analyzing the game theory behind it, uncovering the hidden gems of this new addition to the Splatoon lore universe. For all you Splatoon fans out there, this is for you. We are exploring the world of ink and color and how they play a crucial role in Splatoon 3 side order DLC. With rising temperatures causing coral to lose their color through a process known as coral bleaching, we see Inkopolis Square and Agent 8 both deprived of color. Our main purpose in Sight Order is to bring back the color and uncover the internal conflict within the game. We also delve into the memory recovery aspect as the DLC trailer is full of self-reflection imagery. This could give us a look into the mind of an Octarian soldier and the internal struggles that they have gone through, especially with what Agent 8 has experienced. Finally, we will touch on the possibility of cloning as Coral can clone themselves as we see clones of Agent 8 and the entire plaza covered in Coral in the trailer. So sit back, relax, let's unravel the secrets of Splatoon 3's DLC together. Coral Bleaching. In our first sentence, we will dive into the fascinating world of Coral Bleaching. We all know that Coral is essential to the underwater world, but did you know that rising temperatures can cause Coral to lose their color? That's right, this process of Coral Bleaching bleaching occurs when algae is removed from coral. This phenomenon occurs when the coral polyp, the tiny animal that lives in hard protective skeletons, loses its symbiotic relationship with an algae called zooxylene. I'm going to Google how to say that right now. So is Anthelae. Zooxanthellae live inside the coral's tissues and provide the coral with energy in the form of nutrients through photosynthesis. The loss of that symbiotic relationship is caused by a wide range of factors, including rising water temperatures, increased light and ultraviolet radiation, disease, and or pollution. When things become too stressful for the coral, it expels the zooxanthellae, leaving the coral without its main food of source and energy, and thus they turn completely white or bleach. The color can recover and therefore recover its color. If the stressor is removed and the zooxanthellae are able to recolonize the coral tissue, however, the stress continues, the coral will die and we will be left with white nothingness. Agent 8, I believe, in the DLC has lost their home and in order to restore their new home, they must restore color to their world by restoring color to the algae you see all over the square. Memory recovery and internal conflict. In our second segment, we'll be exploring memory recovery and the aspect on the side order DLC. Memory loss, also known as amnesia, is a condition in which a person has difficulty recalling memories from the past, either from a specific period of time or from specific events. Agent 8 has amnesia. The struggles of memory loss can have a significant impact on a person's daily life and overall well-being. One of the primary struggles with memory loss is recall. A person with memory loss has trouble remembering events, names, places, and faces. They may also struggle to learn information and retain it for a significant period of time. This can lead to feelings of frustration and confusion and social isolation as a person may struggle to communicate with others around them. With its focus, especially in the elevator and that self-reflection imagery, I believe players of the side dish DLC, side dish DLC will have to follow that same isolation and frustration with Agent A in the colorless world as they seek to rediscover who they actually are while piecing together the broken parts of Agent A memory. Another struggle with memory loss is disorientation and confusion. A person with memory loss may have trouble navigating familiar places and understanding the context of their surroundings. They may have trouble with time management and decision making leading to difficult and daily activities. Including this in the DLC would be genius from a game perspective. It would be super cool to see it in play with repeated stages and time constraints with different worlds. If tasks aren't completed on time by Agent 8, that memory is lost, forcing players to return back to certain save points along the way. Memory loss can also have a profound effect on a person's emotional well-being. The loss of cherished memories and the struggle to remember important moments can lead to feelings of sadness, anger, and depression. I am sure we all experience that when fighting inner Agent 3, but it would be quite unique to have Agent 8 to fight themselves in order to overcome the internal struggles and to continue their story and lay claim to their lost memories. Coral cloning. In our final segment, we'll touch on coral cloning. This process 
process of creating genetically identical copies of coral colonies through asexual reproduction. Cloning is an important area of research and conservation as it provides a way to preserve and propagate species that are threatened in our natural environment here on Earth. This cloning process is when we take a piece of coral tissue known as a fragment, we put it in a controlled environment like an aquarium, and we encourage it to grow and multiply. As this grows, it produces genetically identical copies of itself through more fragmentation. Then the colony grows, continuing to grow its pieces, each of which can grow into a complete new colony. Over time, we see these colonies become genetically identical to their original fragment, thus creating a large clone. Someone or something in Splatoon 3 Side Order DLC has fragmented some coral and allowed it to fester all over Splatoon 2's plaza. That someone or something is probably also responsible for Agent 8's fragmented mental state and the loss of color. But I think it will still play a role. In the end, who knows what Splatoon 3 DLC really has to offer. But for me, I'm betting on coral bleaching, memory loss, and coral cloning all to come into play as we take a look-see. I am beyond excited. So come along if you like. It's a Squidman, a Beta, a Bodhi, no dying!